Well, my horse ain't running tonight, is it? So, how are we going to decide who does the washing up? Well, put your thinking cap on. Have a think about it. No. Uh, oh, uh, I hope Ravers. Welcome to Ray Ruttles Race Night. <laughs> Welcome to the dining room for the 706 and the whip out your maypole chase because it's 1st of May isn't it? it's May Day uh, you often have uh, traditional uh, celebrations on May Day hence the maypole, uh, Morris dancing and stuff like that you, you've seen your maypoles and your, your weird films where they have them nude fertility dances yeah, them pagan rituals like in Wicker Man and stuff like that they do they dance around the maypole and then they that one I think they do uh, I've got my clothes on, so uh, that ain't happening here, no. Uh, anyway, uh, the Whip Out Your Maypole Chase will be contested over a distance of 3 feet 11 inches, and the going is firm, and there's five runners. Okie doo, on to the game zone. And in gate one, it's All White on the Night, ridden by my wife Denise. And what's she reading this week? The Maypole by Geraldine McCochrane. Uh, never heard of that. Looks a bit uh, Mills and Boonish. Looks like an art load of road cobblers, but uh, Denise seems happy reading it. She's been reading it while she's been cleaning her teeth every night. So uh, maybe it's good. And Road Sluggish starts at season for all white on night. She'll be open for a top three finish tonight. Will Denise uh, get some points on the ball? Gate two, amateur clue. Ridden by Barry Cryer. There we go, there's a swanny whistle. Made his debut last week, did all right, but uh, didn't get any points, so we'll be hoping to go uh, one better tonight. Gate three, Dallas Green, ridden by Dad. Straight in with a second place last week with Daddy. She will be hoping for more points today because uh, she's got a right duel going on with Diamond Dallas Page and Deaky Lab. She will not want to give an inch against him, no. Gate four, Loyal Pigeon, ridden by Starlet Blossom. Uh, Lord Pidge did all right last week. Top three finish on debut. Got a point. Got uh, got her off the mark straight away. She'll no doubt be open for more of the same tonight. And finishing off the lineup in gate five, it's Rip, ridden by Benny Help. Rip, of course, got a win last week, as we will see shortly. But uh, yeah, three points for Rip, joint top at table. So great start to the season for him. Can he carry it out? So the odds for tonight, well, Amateur Clue is your outsider, 11 to 2, as you'd probably expect. Low Pinch, 5 to 1. All White on the Night and Dallas Green is 72, but Rip is your favourite at 3 to 1. Remember these odds are just for information purposes, just hope you pick a winner. Gamble responsibly, only bet what you can afford to lose. I didn't have to do the washing up for week one. Denise wants to gamble the washing up again, but I'm not racing this week. My horse ain't racing this week, so uh, you're you what, though? What, if any one of the other four beats you, then you have to do the washing up? Sign me up for that. I'm up for that. Yeah, <laughs> great. Fingers crossed. Now, as we mentioned, Rip got the win last week, but it uh, didn't look like we were going to, because it looked like Diamond Dollar's page we were going to romp away with it. He was looking very impressive. But yet again... Game of Cropper, courtesy of the Gibbons Teeth, that last fence, Deke can't stand it. And that were all the invitation that Rip needed to nip in and get the win. Can he make it two from two tonight? Let's get to starting gates and find out. Yeah, they're on the starters on Des. Yeah, they're off. Out they go, and all that on the night, a swerves to avoid the gravy stain, but it looks like she's holding her position at the front, followed by having to clue his second, but all that on the night is cutting across having to clue, and Rip takes the lead on this near side, it's Rip from all white on the night, we have having to clue in third, and Dallas Green's pressuring in fourth, but Rip is going to take it, well Rip makes it two from two. But it looked like it were all white on the night who got the best start. As we can see on that far side, she just swerves, just there to avoid the gravy stain. But she's definitely in the lead at this point as they are crossing the stool. And it looks like she might start to cut across, having to clue slightly. 
but she's definitely in the ladies we can see there but it's ruttles up what does for her now look here you see there's a big snagging there we go that snags it and rip pounces and takes the opportunity much like it did last week you'll see loyal pigeon get snagged by ruttles up as well she's well back in last place and rip is in the lead at this point we all watch right on the night closely followed by having to clue and dallas green but Rip, despite just getting nibbled on by the Gibbons teeth, you'll see Rip manages to hold on for the win. And yes, it's all right on the night, get a second. Haven't you clue? Gets third. Let's get confirmation of the results. So, the results of the dining room 706 and the whip out your maypole chase. First, we're Rip. He was your favourite 3 to 1, uh, and it proved why. Yeah, second win in two races. Well, well done, Rip. Uh, Benny, oh, he should be delighted, shouldn't he? Second, we're all white on the night. My wife Denise, she'll be pleased she got a couple of points, but she won't be pleased that she'll be doing the washing up tonight. Yeah, close, but no cigar, my dear. And third, we're having to clue. 11 to 2. He was a big outsider, but well done, Barry Cryer. He's got a point, he's on the ball. All five ran, no fallers again for the third week running. So far, so good. But yeah, we can see all white on the night. Got a great start out to the gates on that far side. Negotiated the gravy stain brilliantly. But then got snagged by Ruttles Hook. And that did for her. And Rip nicked in head. And despite going just nibbled on slightly by the Gibbons teeth. It managed to hold on for the win. And let's see what that has done to the season standing. Yes, Rip is your outright lead. Two races, two wins, six points. I'm sure second on Don't Eat Yellow Snow on three. And then we've got a, a four way tie for third place. All right on night, Bottle of Bear, Dallas Green, and then the bottom half at table, Diamond Dallas Page. Uh, he's only relegated to bottom half at table by virtue of uh, alphabetical order. Anyway, they're all on two points. And then we've got Amateur Clue, Loyal Pigeon, both off the mark. They've both got a point. Well done to the newbies. And the Scarlet Pumper now and Steed tied for the body. Both on zero points. But they're both going to be running next week. Come and join us Sunday, May the 8th, 7pm in the dining room for the gate job. And in the meantime, you can visit my website, rayruttle.com forward slash race night. See the full schedule. Uh, see the standings are on there, as long as I've updated them in time. Uh, and why not get in touch? Deacon lads got in touch after last week. Uh, we're all confident of getting a win, but yeah, Messi's blooming giving his teeth again because uh, he's livid. They keep chomping on him. So yeah, tweet me, comment below, or email me. Get in touch. Always great to hear from you. And remember to poke the like button and give it a good poke. Share the excitement to race night with your mates and subscribe if you ain't already a subscriber. And I will see you next time. Okay, do. That is the man goes, love. You do the washing up, I'll do the dying up. How's that?